Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about Active Directory and how ExtraHop can help uh, monitor your Active Directory environment. And uh, first of all, we want to talk about the four KPIs that we're looking at for Active Directory. First one is server service lookup errors for DNS. Uh, the second one is time sync issues. Uh, third one is the account lookouts and then the global catalog errors. So these are the, mo the, the four KPIs that we, we really want to uh, keep an eye on. And then as you scroll down through the dashboard, uh, it gives you more detail for each one of those. Um, so the two, thing, the two uh, metrics that I really care about are these time skews and the account lockouts. So first I want to talk about the account lockouts. Uh, with ExtraHop, since we're seeing the traffic on the network, on the wire, we're able to see you know, login failures by user and by client IP. So this is very useful because uh, many times a user will change their uh, password on their workstation, but their BlackBerry or their iPad is still using their old password and it, you know, it keeps locking them out or it's not syncing properly. So uh, being able to, to identify what, how they're being locked out and what uh, account, what uh, uh, username they're coming from and what um, IP they're coming from is very, uh, very useful to know and be able to see it on a dashboard right away is very handy. Otherwise, you know, you would have to go through the domain controller and look through logs and, you know, hope that you find it in one of the domain controls. If not, move to the next domain controller. So it becomes very difficult and takes a long time to solve this kind of problem. Whereas with extra hop, right away you have them on a dashboard and you can click further and, and, and even look at disabled accounts that users are trying to access. If they left the company or been t terminated, for example, it might be a security concern, you want to keep an eye on that. So with extra hop, you definitely see all that because it's in the Kerberos protocol that extra hop can uh, uh, parse and decode. So we're able to see that information. So you can see the invalid passwords, the disabled accounts, the lockouts, and so on. Um, but I want to focus a little bit in this video on the time sync issues. And with Kerberos, which is the protocol used by Active Directory, if the computer is out of sync by more than five minutes from the domain controller, the domain controller is going to reject any tokens or it's going to reject authenticating that workstation. So you want to make sure that you, know, you don't have any computers that are out of sync. Otherwise, people are going to complain and it's actually going to manifest itself as a network problem. And I'll explain why in a second. So if I scroll down to the bottom here, you can see the time skew computers. So we give you the actual IP addresses of all the, the uh, computers that have a time skew error that we see on the, uh, on the network, on the wire. And, you know, you can, you can stop here and just take this IP and, uh, and go onto those workstations and fix the time and the NTP settings on those workstations. And... Uh, and you're good to go and you can be proactive about it you don't have to wait until somebody complains but I, I'm gonna take this a step further and show you uh, what happens here so if I if I type the word skew which is the time skew here and it's uh, it's a skew error that shows in Kerberos and I'll show you in a second and I'm gonna do a global records query for that error so basically I'm, I'm searching my entire data set for this uh, string called skew I'm going to focus on the Kerberos response for Active Directory. Uh, you can see here the error shows up five times. Uh, the error message for Kerberos here is Q. And you can see the timestamp of when, when, when these happen. You can visually see them at the top. Uh, but you can also see the client username that, uh, that received this error. So not only the client IP address that we, sh we showed earlier in the dashboard, and also see the actual uh, user that was having the issue. And uh, you can see the processing time and so on. Uh, the AD error here is time skew that we mentioned before. Uh, but notice the workflow. So we saw it on the dashboard. Uh, we moved from the dashboard you know, by searching and then uh, we're on the records right now. But if I'm interested in actually looking at the packets themselves, I can easily just click on this button here and it will take me onto the packets uh, tab to uh, to look at the packets and as you can see it's already filtered and ready for me um, and now I have the nine packets that we've been very precise in picking out and uh, now I can download this and, and look at it in Wireshark but what I want to talk about here 
briefly before the end of this video is why this manifests itself as a network problem and how your users are actually going to complain and say, you know, it's a, I'm having a network problem authenticating or I can't access this application or the application is very slow and I can't get in. Uh, basically, this is what's going to happen. You know, you, you're, you see the SYN, the SYN act, the act, but then at the very end, you see the server, the domain controller sends a reset back to the to the client so basically it's not trusting this machine because of the time skew problem so that time skew error that is in active directory manifests itself as a network problem because of that reset coming back and it just appears as, as a stall in the network traffic so hopefully this has been helpful and uh, thank you for watching